I have a feeling that I'm gonna love Colombia. I really do. A few moments later. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get into this. Uh, this is the box, the snack box thing. I'm not sponsored by these fuckers, but they should be. Uh, today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! Interesting. So, what we do here is uh, I get a box from this company that sends snacks from different countries around the world. And uh, we we open the box, I try it, new shit, and I judge it. But uh, a Spanish-speaking, famous for their, uh, their, uh, hmm, that's, uh, what can, how can I say, famous for their powdered, uh, produce. Um, this South American country with their powdered famous export, Colombia. <laughs> we all know what we're talking about there, yes. Colombia! Welcome to Colombia, a vibrant South American treasure renowned for its stunning landscapes, lovely cities, and world-famous cocaine. Uh, coffee! Coffee! Sip a delicious cup and get ready to explore the rich and diverse flavors of this extraordinary country and what it has to offer. Did you know Colombia is a home of to the Caño Cristales, often called the River of Five Colors? Uh, okay, it has rare plants and has beautiful colors. Look at those, look at those waters. Also, Colombia is the world's leading producer of emeralds. <laughs> yeah, emeralds. Just emeralds. The city of Medellin, once known for its troubled past. Mm-hmm, I wonder what that was about. Um, transformed into a model of innovation and urban renewal, earning the nickname City of Eternal Spring for its pleasant climate. Colombia's coffee is renowned worldwide for its rich flavor and aroma. The coffee cultural landscape of Colombia is UNESCO, World Heritage Site, uh, reflecting the country's deep coffee growing heritage. And the shit ton of cocaine. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have... These look like bacon fries. Are these in the in the latter part of it? I tell you what, I think, I think Colombia is going to score high. I have a feeling that I'm going to love Colombia. I really do. Okay, right, let's get into this. Okay, I'm going to have my drink ready. Which is going to be my Colombiana. Okay. Oh, bro. Uh, I really have a good feeling. Okay, I'm going to start with the uh, bacon fries. Right, so, if you're Irish, you know what I talk about. You know the bacon fries in every single pub. They have scampi fries, but I always got bacon fries. Amazing. I love bacon fries. This is going to be an easy, easy, easy score. But we'll see how they taste. Mmm. Uh-oh. It's like a rice. It, it's instead of a bacon fry, this feels like a, a very corny, like, puff. And the flavor, there's... It's like it's trying to taste like bacon, but then it just runs out of bacon. Identical flavor to natural bacon. Identical flavor. Yeah, sure. It's like it's trying to be bacon, but it ran out of petrol. Would I eat the whole bag? Yeah. But I wouldn't be devouring it. Um... These are like, compared to Coca-Cola, these would be like Diet Coke. Do you remember the green, was it Coke Life? Do you remember that green bottle of Coke? Does anyone remember that? Where they tried to come out with like this organic, crappy Coke thingy? Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Where you're excited for it and then you taste and you're like... So, Irish bacon fries would be 10 out of 10. These... In comparison to that, will be a 5 out of 10. And that's even generous. Yeah. Very, very puffy. And I think it's actually a bit, a, kind of wrong to put a pig on there. Because uh, that pig would be very upset with the amount of bacon flavor it is lacking. Very disappointing. Oh, Colombia. Not a good start. The flavors. It's like when you get a really good menu. Put down the snacks, fat boy. Re already, Mike. Already. I've just started and you already got that fucking it's like every video we do someone gets it gets that text to speech into the video stop eating and get back to gaming fat boy All right next one is a bag that looks like it's been through fucking two world wars holy shit Car caramel corn puffs now if there's some bro look at the these things look at this these things are chumongous. Focus on these are massive. So caramel, you know, 
And the thing is, I have a weird feeling this might be nice because I remember when I came over to America and I really, I well, look, we do have it in Ireland, but it's not that popular. Um, caramel popcorn. Um, I think I think it was. I don't know. It just wasn't in my psyche. Uh, but I know caramel popcorn is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Caramel belongs to chocolate and ice cream for me. But anyway, I'll shut up and I'll give this a go. Caramel corn snack. It's better than the bacon, but not much. I just think like the corn puff thing doesn't really offer much. Whereas the popcorn, you know, the kern, the kernel in the popcorn, that like popcorn flavor and the caramel kind of work. Whereas the corn thing, it's kind of nothing. It's just like a body for the caramel to exist on. So yeah, it just seems like the caramel is doing everything and it's not really great caramel. So I'll give that a six. That's a six out of 10. Would I eat the whole thing? Again, yes. You get a fair amount of shite, but they're big balls like. They're, those are big puffs. You know what I mean? There's a fair amount in there. But I'm not scoffing down that bag. No. But I will. Now, I do need to clean the palate. This is champagne. What was it? Champagne. What? Champagne Pappy. Um, unique cola champagne flavors with hint of cream soda and bubble gum. All right, down the hatch. Cheers to you all. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! On paper. What, a cola champagne with bubble gum and cre the, the cre it's cre the cream soda. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, it's like a 7.8. That's, it's just the flavor stops in a good way. Like, if I had bubblegum and whatever flavors, like, too much in my mouth, I'm feeling like, it's like Dr. Pepper. I find Dr. Pepper to be a little kind of like, oh, I can't drink that whole thing. This, you get the cool, tasted flavor, boom, and then, gone. Like, oh, yeah, I'll have another sip. But with some of these drinks where the flavor's too much, and I'm like, oh, for fuck, I couldn't drink the whole thing. This, I'm going back for more. Mmm. So good, I'm willingly jumping into bed with some salt- salty balls. Cheesy balls. I was watching South Park, I swear. Uh, cheesy balls! Now, those of you that know me, I am not one when it comes- One, I- You know, balls in general, I'm alright with, but you know, cheesy balls. I don't know about other people's ball cheese. Not something I like to pop into my mouth. Okay, so, um, yeah. Basically, these are, they, these feel like, uh, what do these feel like? It feels like a familiar, it doesn't look like corn, but look, look at that texture. Does that remind you of any, I don't even know how to describe this. It almost looks plasticky. Okay. Oh yeah, it's cheese. Yeah, it tastes plasticky. It feels like this is rations for a fucking war Colombia is predicting. I don't get the cheese. I don't get the cheese. I don't get Oh, <laughs> I don't get cheese. It's just my breath. Just inhaling. Ah. Oh, bro. That fucking rank. That's disgusting. Oh, that is so fucking bad. Just the fucking fumes of cheese in my aura. My whole body is just being taken over by Cracker Barrel. Oh, fuck off. Columbia, just stick to cocaine. Cheese ain't for you. Um, the texture is like a hard rationed fake fucking cheese ball, whatever. It definitely belongs in a military ration kit. Um, oh. Stop complaining and keep eating. No Sh light. Shut up. Um, this is a, this is a fucking, this is like a two out of ten. Just being nice to Columbia. I don't get cheese, bro. That is... Ugh. God awful. That is fucking awful. The texture is it's like plastic. It was like hard. I I doubt this is in date. The 10th of November 2024. And that's that's not out of date and it feels like that, bro. That is anyway. It's still there. I've just cheese in my the center of my head. Okay. Let's get a different flavor into my mouth. Picante. So I'm. This looks like just hot Doritos. 
chili Doritos, nachos, tosta tostacos. I feel like I'm going to like these. Okay, so reminder to what this is. Get those cheese balls out of here. Fucking disgusting. They're going straight in the bin after this. Uh, puffy, crispy corn chips seasoned with a spicy kick of fresh picante flavor. Is picante like a pepper? They're like very small Doritos. They are delightful. The corn is nice. The corn, the corn chip is, is a little bit puffed up. Like it's got a little, see, see the, the inflation. See how it's inflated? A little pocket of air in the middle. Um, I won't call them spicy. I'd call them spiced, but not spicy. Spicy is, they're spiced. Um, they're lovely. They are lovely. They are, uh, a 7.1. They're, they're not blowing my mind flavor-wise. Um, but I'd eat the bag. 7.1 7 is not low. Scale of 1 to 10. 7 is towards the top. What are you talking about? Not bad. Eat the whole... No, I'm not eating the whole bag. I have to eat the rest of the stuff. No one wants to sit here watching me eat the whole bag. Clear the palate. <sighs> Thank God the drink is actually nice. Because if the drink is bad, I'm stuck with the drink. To clean my palate for each thing. I'm going to treat myself because these things are looking at me and I swear to God, these, these are going to go down so goddamn easy. Colombian marshmallows. Again, margarita. Like what? Why is everything margarita? Is that the name of the company or are these margarita? Alcoholic margarita marshmallows. Marshmallows just, I hate fate. You hate marshmallows? Who the fuck hates marshmallows? Uh, oh, these are adorable. Look at these little flower, little flower marshmallows. Like little, little flowers. Let's, let's have a taste. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be back in a minute. F*** the cheese balls, Columbia. These we f*** with. These will be gone later on. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Huh? Now, these are small. If these are bigger, and have more flavor coming out of them, then they're they're in the eights, coming towards the nines. But these are small. Like the bag is look, the bag is almost down. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's just They're gone. They're gone. They're all gone. They're gone. That's it. They're gone. Uh seven seven. No way it's a seven. Yeah, it's a seven seven. Still a seven. Yes, yeah, seven point seven. Nearly an eight. They're gone, making an eight. Seven nine. There. Too many marshmallows, you'd become one, you fat so. On to the next one. On to these fucking lime thingies. These, like, corn snack limes. Dicks. Okay, oh, interesting. So, it's, again, they're just gonna be those corn chips. Like those little, uh, Dorito thingies. Holy... Holy f oh. Oh. Where's the fucking lemon in there? Holy shit! Would you like some corn with your fucking lemon or lime? Holy Holy the fucking flavor! Just give me a fucking lime and squirt it in my mouth. Whoa! If you love lime, Jesus Christ, these are for you. That fucking hell, I feel like I'm just biting into a lime the second your tongue touches it you're just it's like licking a lime bro that's just <laughs> that's so potent holy f dude that is a lot whoa that is very limey um yeah for me you're in the sixes <coughs> oh fuck. oh cool. give me whoa. oh it's just so strong oh it's so strong oh god Oh, it's the mar those are the marshmallows. The marshmallows and the and the champagne poppy. I don't know. For me, it's like a six three. It's it's just too much lime for me. And if you like lime, this shit is in the eights probably for you, because that is like I swear to God. You know the way you had Char Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and and uh, Willy Wonka had the wallpaper that tasted like limes and whatever, blah blah blah. It literally feels like licking one of these is licking a lime. It's that strong and instantaneous. Holy. F 
like, how did they... I'm actually impressed with how potent the flavor is on, the, on like, one more. It's made by PepsiCo. Oh, it's free. Oh, it's Lay's. It is. It's Lay's. Six tree. It's called malic acid. It's called a fucking... It's called indigestion. That's what I'm going to get from these. Shower explosive shit in my stomach. These... If someone translate what these are. Uh, are these tubes? Corn tubes or something with, like, strawberry... Strawberry cream? Strawberry tubes. Yeah, I don't remember seeing them in that little booklet. Maybe they replaced... Because I don't think... Yeah, those sour gummies with the watermelon, they're not here. Yeah, I was kind of excited for them. Uh, they're not here, so maybe these are what replaced them. Okay, these are probably like those um, pistachio ones I had in the other, the, the other one. Interesting. They're wafer with strawberry. These are good. Someone said use these with milk. These would be great with milk. They're good. Uh, I think with milk, these would be on a different level. Uh, how do you rate these? Volume, good. Good volume. Like, a good amount of them. Like, see how many you get in that tray? Is pretty goddamn good. Good amount in there. And with milk, I feel like these are in the eights. Like an eight one. It's like the right level of strawberry. Glass of milk. I think this would be fucking great. Eight one. Eight one. I'll give these an eight one. I think this is the right level of strawberry, not too sweet. The wafer is real fucking nice. I just think it needs a glass of milk and oh, that would be serious. Now for your part that you're gonna enjoy and the part I'm gonna hate. Nuts. I hate nuts. I don't know what is in this. I just know it's gonna be a nut. Not one of those nuts, you freak. These popular Colombian roasted peanuts are coated with a layer of crunchy wheat flour. That is a big nut. They, on, on paper, that is a big looking nut. Okay, so I do like I do like roasted peanuts. I don't mind roasted peanuts. I might like these, but some nuts I just don't like. Let's give it a go. No. The cup. <laughs> the, the peanut is okay. <laughs> the peanut's okay, but the wheat, whatever the wheat salty fucking coat thing, no, no, just give me, just give me peanuts. At that point, just give me peanuts. Whatever the fuck that wheat coated thing, just no. Was I supposed to? What was the thing? I I don't. I feel like I forgot to rate something. Those those are those are a four. Those are like a four. Two. <laughs> 4.2. .2. The only thing was the flate was the smart the little part where I got some peanut. But the we whatever that coat thing was, nah, not for me, Columbia. You just can keep that one yourself. Okay, moving on. Uh this. Coco Sele. I think this is like wafer coffee something. Here it is. Crunchy wafers filled with sweet coconut. Oh no! No, there's palm trees! Now I see it! Oh, no! Oh, fuck. Okay. I have a weird feeling I might like this. Okay, I cannot emphasize. I fucking hate coconut. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Coconut water, coconut anything. If I'm on a str if I'm stranded on an island, fucking let me die. Okay? Sometimes I forget the gaming terabyzer hates having nuts in his mouth, whether they're salty nuts or coconut cream. Or Vanos is nuts. Okay, here we go. We have the most opposite palettes. It's insane. Coconut. She, lo she loves everything I hate. Try these. Try one of those. Lime. It's like a lime. Okay, right. It's like there's a, it's like creamy, which is kind of nice, but it's then my nose is hit with the coconut flavor. I give that, for me, that's a six one because I don't like coconut. The wafer is real nice. The cre there's a moment where you get just creamy. And it's real nice. And then you get hit with the coconut flavor, which is not for me. So that would be 6-1. But for someone that likes coconut, what would you give that? 
but not you, bad. I would give it a good seven point five. Yeah. yeah. See, seven point five. I think I that's where I would be if I liked the flavor. But the wafer and the creaminess, real nice. But coconut and me just do not mix, man. I just don't get it. it like coconut is such a hit and miss with people with flavor. Like, like there's bounty bars in Ireland and England, and everyone's just like, Ugh. most people are like, I don't know how they stay in business. Huh? Oh, you want me to explain this? No, I just want to. Oh, you're looking for the next thing? <laughs> All right, wait, Lene, wait. Lene's getting fat now. Is that what's happening here? What? <laughs> you're, you, <laughs> ah! Lene just comes in, she goes, what's next? No, one second, we're, there's a process here, Lene. Oh, there's a process here. Ah! There's a process. <laughs> Do you want a peanut? Oh my god. Okay, relax, relax. I want to get your opinion on these. Okay, okay, no. Come here, come here. Let's see you. No, no, there. There, that'll do. She's trying the strawberry. <laughs> okay. No! That's why I hid them. Oh my god, she's the She's Okay, she's. All right. Bye, Lene. Okay, well, they're gone. Those are pretty good. Wow. They're good. I wanted to try them with a glass of milk. Yeah, Lene's like, yeah, they would be, but now they're mine. <laughs> they would have been good with milk. You can have them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can have them, Lene. I it's only because I called you fat. And I didn't mean physically, I mean gluttonous. Okay, let's get that clear. Her mind is not... She's like, I thought she was going to be like, how, what, what are you doing eating this? And then, no, it turns out she's like, what's next? I'm hungry. All right, next one. I want to try this guy. So, we're all guessing this is lime biscuit. So, biscuit with like a lime cream. Lene is like, she is having a moment behind me with those strawberry tubes. She's just like, oh. They're gone? They're gone? Yeah, okay. Well, Columbia, um, if you have any more of them, you can... I'm glad I ate as many as I could before Lene found them. I hid them there to the side, and then when I saw her reaching for that, I was like, how did she know about them? Okay, right, so these are, yeah, just biscuits. They just look like a biscuit with a, a green cream, so I'm guessing these are lime. Columbia lo loves their lime. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes them. From These are fucking nice. Yeah, it's lime. It goes real good with like shortbread cake. Short, like, biscuit. I don't think that's lemon. No, oh, no, it's just lemon. It's lemon. That's why I fucking love them. Yeah, it's just green. They just colored it green. Give me one more. Then you can have the rest. Those are fucking good. No more, no more for me. No more. These are for biscuits. These are an eight nine. I gotta I gotta give space between ten, eight, nine. They're too small. They're too small. These are fucking tiny. They're tiny. The big biscuits that's these are small. But these are Oh! Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You got Oh my Lene, you have strawberry fucking powder all over you. You're covered in strawberry <laughs> I know. powder. I know. It was yummy. Ooh. Oh, you have one? Watermelon. You can have the watermelon one. Yay! Lene, did someone did someone tell Lene we're doing the snack thing? Nope, I was watching. Oh, you're watching. And so she got hungry. I watch and play. Okay. Excuse me. Jesus Christ, Lene. Thank you. That's my girl. <laughs> now we're on to cheese. This one, I think I'm gonna fucking hate. It's like a cheese cracker. Iconic crackers blending rich cheese and butter flavors. Oh, bro, these are massive fucking crackers. Oh, they look so... Yeah, these are like buttery fucking cheese. Oh, God. Oh, my, it's gonna be so dry. Oh, the smell of cheese! I don't know what it is about cheese, like, like, on crisps or crackers, just cheese like that is horrible. And I love cheese. I love, like, uh, Grana Padano, 
parmesan cheese, you know, real, real dry aged fucking, you know, I love the sour, sour cheese. But something about cheese on like crisps and anything baked, I don't Bro, it's so potent. Right. <coughs> oh. oh, it's so fly. Ah. 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 Bro, it's just not enjoyable. It's just not enjoyable. It's just dry fucking butter cheese. Yeah, it's not enjoyable that one. That's a three. That's a that's a that's a three one. It it gets a three because I have butter. But besides that, no, no, no. God, is there gonna be a nation where all the snacks have cheese? Is there a country that's just really filled with cheese flavored treats? Because I don't get it. I do not get. I just don't get the cheese appeal. I'm on to my last normal one. These ones look absolutely phenomenal. This is just the chocolate. Like chocolate Oreo, chocolate Milo. Very small in Colombia. Go. Very small little biscuits. Looks like a belly button. Good with milk. It's very fucking dry. Um, can I say something that's probably gonna upset some people? The biscuit. Now, don't get mad at me. Now, I doubt we have any Colombians watching. They're gonna get offended by this. But the biscuit is like a very chalky, dehydrated biscuit. Kind of reminds me of Pokemane's fucking bullshit cookie. Like in that direction of just not very flavorsome crunch. Just kind of. Char. I feel like there's. I don't think this Colombian brand. Is this the one that you know? It's very dry. Milo in drink form is superior. Man, I feel like the chap is way more optimistic about that than I am. In that form, the way I just had it, that's a 6 5. Because it's chocolate, which I love. So I know you're all telling me that I'm supposed to have it with milk or whatever, but I don't have milk. Okay? Um, yeah, yeah, it's very dehydrated. Yeah, not great. Not great. Well, all my good stuff that Lene has eaten. At least I got those lime biscuits. Uh, last thing I'm gonna try is this bum 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 lollipop, passion fruit flavor. That concludes basically our trip to Colombia. Hmm. Yeah, good lollipop. It's a lollipop. It's a good lollipop. That's like a 7-1. It's lovely. I'm sure the bubblegum in the middle is going to be delightful. But we're not going to have like two hours for me to get to that. Uh, Colombia, bit of a mixed bag. Great flavors. Uh, great menu. Just the delivery was lacking. Like the bacon that wasn't really bacon. The spicy chips that weren't really spicy. The, 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 the lime, the lime infused chips that was just basically a fucking lime with a, a little bit of chips on the side. That was insanity. Um, the caramel puffs, the cheese balls from hell, and then you had the strawberry tube things that were amazing. It was a mixed bag. Um, I would give Columbia an overall 6.8. There were some really good things, but there were some really fucking shit things. So it got dragged down a good bit, but I feel like 6.8, Columbia just upgrade oh that to a seven. I can't tell snake. It, it's in the sixes. It is what it is Anyone that gives me cheese balls that belong in a fucking World War II rations kit and caramel fucking puffs bacon fries that barely taste of bacon and fucking North Korean fucking torture cheese crackers it, it goes there. I can't even my camera refuses to even focus on Ah, oh, great and it's spilled onto my fucking keyboard fucking cheese it's a 6.8. Columbia, your drink is great, but
But what the cheese shit has to stop, lads. The cheese has to stop. It has to stop. If you're a person that actually enjoys cheese snacks, I think you need your head examined. Just buy a nice thing of cheese in the cheese aisle. That's what I like to eat, just straight up cheese. But what is it about cheese in baked form? I don't know. Powdered cheese snacks. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. I don't, know, I don't give a shit anymore. I got 100k. Subscribe helps get to 200k. Chat, say hi to the extra channel. Or not. Whatever. It's, it's gonna be in the video. Whatever you guys say. You're on the side of the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.